We have just a couple more people coming in. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. If everyone would take a seat and get yourself comfortable, welcome to the Positive Living Center. Good morning. Welcome to those who are here in the sanctuary and to those who are visiting on Zoom. <laughs> we miss everyone, this collective collaboration of getting the techniques and electronics to work in conjunction. We've been Hello. Judy. We have no audio. Judy, can you unmute yourself? How is that? Much better? Awesome. So it's interesting. We, we can hear the speaker, but we are not able to pick up the music. So we're, we're working on that right now. And um, as life goes, we all have to go through the shuffle and sift through the sand and find the jewels because they're there. Um, and we will have that available uh, probably next week. So I know Sandy has a speaker we're gonna try and John has a speaker. And I don't know if Joe Nelson in the back might have a speaker that would help us pick up the music. So is the audible okay for you, Missy? Very good, thank you. We don't have oops, there's a lot of high pitch sound there. I'm gonna just move this. Okay, perfect. We got it. Woo! I'm kind of like being visited by an alien there. <laughs> um, my name is Judy DeRosa and I'm so glad that we have our Zoom group with us. We have 16 people. So just imagine everybody that you've seen for a year plus is sitting out there wanting to be together. The thing that I love about Zoom is that we can be together long distance and be connected. So we're really grateful for that. In the seat in front of you is the uh, gift that we have for our visitors and for everyone that's here. There is a belief system chart you can take with you for uh, the prayer of protection and for the offertory, for everything that you could meditate with. I keep one on my altar at home, so you are. You are welcome. Today is January 9th, 2022. And it is the year of a healthy lifestyle. This uh, theme is strength, confidence, and faith. We're gonna start with our music. And for those who cannot hear, imagine John is standing on the stage what I'd like him to say hello to the Zoom folks. <laughs> so if you would get yourself settled, allow yourself to take a nice deep breath, close your eyes, bring in the music of your being, your heart, 
And as John plays, this energy will fill this room and the cosmos. And as we silently meditate together. As we let our heart unfold like a flower, we reconnect to our inner worth, our inner energy. We come back to the room. Calm, relaxed, clear, and balanced. 
Thank you, John Malone. That's beautiful. For our spiritual thought today, we have LJ Bull. Thank you, LJ. Thank you, Judy. I was going to stand up on this, but <laughs> maybe not. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Um, we went ahead and did a little bit of uh, wow. De definition uh, searching on um, strength. I was pleased to see that it is a quality of being strong, or like uh, cycling makes you stronger, your muscles stronger, or something like that. The, the use of our being makes us stronger. And their second meaning was that uh, the capacity of something to withstand great force or pressure. It sure feels like the world that we're experiencing these days has a little bit more force and pressure. <laughs> and uh, from the externals of, of, of what we can experience day to day. I know for me, I've been experiencing a lot of newness, a lot of change. Um, I've already told you in, um, about the changes that have gone on at work. There have been many. Um, and Faith was involved in the idea that um, I could take on a junior associate so that I could let go of the reins at some point in the near future. Near future could be three to five years. Sooner would be lovely. But, um, but that I could find a junior associate. And, um, and I had this faith. And I knew that character first. We find a person of character and we can train them in the... In the um, job if they have the aptitude. And so that's a lot of change. And uh, so faith was involved. And, and a gentleman's name came to mind. And I called him up. And I shared with him that I had witnessed his excellent character and appreciated him very much. Was wondering if he had any interest because he had uh, he had a uh, he had finished college not long ago and he had a business major and so I was just wondering did he ever have any interest in the field that I'm in which is financial services and and he said actually yes and you called it the perfect time now it's going to be a long road of transition. And it may or may not work out. In, uh, and that's okay, because there's freedom in it too. I have faith in the freedom that a yes is a yes and a no is a no, and it's okay. And um, confidence, the mental theme of confidence. We know that uh, Angie taught me that consciousness, and thank you, Angie, for this, consciousness is our knowing with. What are we knowing with? And confidence is to trust with. So to have confidence in is the bridge of that activity of faith in the outpouring into our lives. We're trusting with. And then um, faith, Hebrew word is emunah means faith and is often translated as faithfulness. And it describes more than believing in God. It reveals a life of full reliance upon God. And when I heard the word or spoke the word in my mind of a muna, I couldn't help but remember Wayne Dyer. And Wayne Dyer had this uh, expression that he did about a sacred vowel sound, ah. And so, emunah, Yahweh, Jehovah, Krishna, Shiva, Ganesh, Buddha, Abba, Allah, and God. Now there's more, 
there's a lot more and some of them don't have that vowel sound but i find it interesting that so many names for source spirit have that ah so faith is a friend of mine and i want to say in my heart i know faith is whether i'm feeling it or not faith is it's here it's beyond time and space it's an energy it's a verb it's an activity and i am in it always just like being creative always i can't turn creativity off because we're always choosing even when we don't choose we're choosing because we're alive and alive i am that i am chooses in all the ways that we choose and it's marvelous that we have all the ways we can choose and faith has all the ways we can faith faith and activity faith in ourselves faith in god faith in this life unfolding faith in God didn't make no slot. <laughs> faith that we are divine, unfolding, being revealed, faith. I don't know if you can feel it, but boy, I have faith for every one of us, in every one of us. I trust every one of us that God is the activity of our very lives. Even when it doesn't look like it. Even when it's bumpy. And there's a lot of change. And I will share with you. I don't know if you can feel it in my vibe, but lately it's been bumpy. And when it's bumpy, it's okay that it's bumpy because there's no less God. My faith is strong that God is God as each of us all the time. And what God reveals is God's stuff. And we recognize it. We feel it and we know it through and through. God bless you all, because I know God does, and so it is. Thank you, LJ. Faith. Beautiful. Well, half of us get to have John Lalonde back, and at one point somewhere in our lifetimes, I'd love to hear a CD done by John. John, you A lively rendition by Tom Lai. Thank you, Tom. 
our next wonderful speaker, who's trying to get a drink of water through his mask. Mm -hmm. Our beloved Bob Hand. Hello. It's great to see all of you, both physically here and those on Zoom. I did want to mention, though, that some of you are a little out of focus, not the ones on Zoom, some of the people here, they need to uh, refocus, I think, a little bit. What I wanted to do when I got up here was to wish you all a happy new year. But then I realized that that's not right. I, I want to be correct. And so I shouldn't wish you a happy new year. I should wish you a happy renew year. Because it's really a renew year. It's new again. Now, I know new again sounds like an oxymoron. How can something be new, but new again? That, that should make it old. But it's our strange universe we live in that does this. I mean, we, you've all heard me talk about, I'm sure you're all experts on by now, the Big Bang, <clears throat> the beginning of our universe where this one energy was formed, which formed many energies, which formed all of the matter, the electrons, protons, neutrons that become atoms. And that happened about 14 million years ago. And that's what everything's made of. Nothing's made of something new. It's all made of that. But it's from our limited perspective that we see things as new. We say, we bought a new car. But what's that car made of? It's made of material, of atoms, of protons and electrons that have been around for billions of years. How can something be new if it's been around for billions of years? Well, it isn't new. It's renew. It's new again. It's rearranged into a new pattern. And the ancient wise ones understood this. The Chinese had yin and yang. <clears throat> so if yin is prominent, everybody knew that wasn't a permanent situation, that eventually the yang would become prominent. But that wouldn't stay either. Eventually, the yin would become prominent again. It wouldn't be new but it would be renewed because life is cyclic. In the Gospel of Thomas, the disciples asked that master Jesus, uh, when will the end come? And he said, why do you seek the end? Do you already know the beginning? For where the beginning is, the end will be. You know, what a strange statement. <clears throat> Where the beginning will be is the end will be. If you look at a line, it's got a beginning over here and it comes and it has an end. And they're not in the same place. But if you look at a circle, they are. You have the beginning. It goes around to the end, which is at the beginning again. And it renews. This is the ancient wisdom. The Egyptians knew this. They saw our life like the god Ra. The god Ra was the sun god. The sun god starts in the east, and he would go across the sky to the west. But then somehow, mysteriously, the next day, he starts his journey in the east again. And so they decided that Ra took a boat across the river underground back to the east, making a cycle, and that that's how our lives were. Our lives were like daytime as we traveled above ground. But when we died, we went into the underworld, and we had to go back 
to where the gods are. And then we would be judged if your heart was as light as or lighter than a feather, if you were pure of heart, then the gods renewed your life. They gave your soul new life to live among the uh, the gods and the spiritual uh, essences at that point. So you had to go through that cycle of the daytime above ground, the night, if you will, the dark underground in order to be renewed. So if we want to follow this ancient wisdom, how do we renew ourselves? What's individual renewal look like? You know, maybe it's recreation. Angie always says that he's a spiritual being having a vacation here on earth. And I always tell him he should get a new spiritual travel agent. But if it's a vacation, it's recreation. Recreation means recreate, to create again. And that's supposedly the purpose of recreation. It's to recreate our energy, recreate our enthusiasm, for to recreate this higher mental and physical state for us. But recreation isn't typically a spiritual renewal. Unless the Kansas City Chiefs are playing, then it's sort of a spiritual experience. But otherwise, recreation is about our mental and physical renewal. So again, how do we get spiritual renewal? Well, often, I think we think of this as learning new spiritual things, right? We want to know the power of now. <clears throat> we want to know the secret. The four agreements, the seven habits of spiritually advanced people. We want to know the 10 secrets to inner peace. And, you know, I think learning's great. Gene and I both read a lot. I read a lot of fiction, but people also know that I read a lot of science. I read a lot of biographies. I read histories and, and about <clears throat> different religions. We watch a lot of movies and we watch <clears throat> excuse me, Hollywood movies, but we also watch a lot of documentaries. We're into lifetime learning. And I think spiritually, maybe for, for those who are new, you need to learn these things. And I think that some of us who have been kind of in this learning process for years, maybe adding new spiritual facts, new spiritual ideas, isn't going to renew us, isn't going to take us to an epiphany of some sort. So I think we each have to find our own way to spiritual renewal. But some of the ways work for me. I mean, sometimes we do visioning. And visioning is where somebody leads you through, sort of leads you through their journey. They may say you're walking through a forest or, or you're on a beach. But besides visioning, there's meditation. And I think meditation helps us in spiritual renewal because meditation is about turning off, right? It's not about gaining more. It's not really about turning on. It's about turning off. And we turn off these conscious thoughts and we surrender ourselves to the divine. We sort of, if we're doing it, if we're turning off these these thoughts and just surrendering ourselves what it I, I think sometimes our spiritual essence kind of floats around their spiritual parts are, are kind of like this new car where it's rearranged it's it's the spiritual knowledge and and thoughts and spiritual essence we already have but when we let go we let it rearrange and sometimes it rearranges into this spiritual aspect that renews us. 
And I think there's other ones. I think spiritual discussions can lead to renewal. Not lectures. I'm good at lectures. But spiritual discussions where you just have an open exchange of ideas, either one-on-one -on -one or in groups. It's not where you're trying so much to learn something new, but rather to share. Angie and I were having a spiritual discussion the other day. We do this periodically. And one of the things he says, you know, people are calling Angie all the time about wanting to talk about spiritual ideas. Uh, and he said, uh, sometimes it, it's not really that they gave me a new idea. Let's face it, he's read a lot of the books, gone to a lot of the lectures. It's not that they give me a new idea, but that they spark something in me so that I think of things a different way. I have a different spiritual perspective. And I think that's what these open spiritual discussions can do, not necessarily give us something new, but cause something inside us spiritually to rearrange. And it's this rearranging of our spiritual essence that's the renewal. And I think we can all do this. And so what I would like to do is wish all of you a happy renew year, <clears throat> a happy renewal. And if we can do this, if we can renew ourselves spiritually, we can create a life of peace and joy and happiness for ourselves and for others. Thank you. Thank you, Bob Han. That was exquisite, beautiful. I'm I, I'm going to think about my van as it's renewing itself. <laughs> Old, <laughs> lovely. On the third Sunday of the month, we have a healing circle just for you to remember and to join us next week. Um, I'd like to know if there's two ushers that would come forward so we can do the offertory. Divine love, all growing, flowing through me, blesses and increases all that I give and all that I receive. We'd like to thank everyone for their financial support for the Positive Living Center. We still keep finding new leaks in the roof. We are a nonprofit that is funded by donations only. And your generosity is the spirit that continually helps to keep the Positive Living Center growing in love and transform and building this community of life. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You can send donations, and I think Missy might have uh, information on Zoom that she can share with everyone. There's a post office box and then there's a PayPal via a little green button, which I know nothing about. Thank you. And um, we thank everyone for your energetic giving to this awareness. I'd also like to mention that um, there is a newsletter that LJ was telling me about. And when we have announcements, we'll, we'll have a discussion about that. And feel free to call Reverend Sandy if you need to talk. And to our beloved Angelo, 
we have a list on the website that has everyone's numbers available. That includes me. I'm here for you. Let's see. Now I get to ask if there's any announcements. LJ is raising her hand and we're going to have people come up to the podium so that you can actually be heard and we include our our other loves. Good morning, good morning again. Um, I just want to remind everyone that on the on the weekly I focus, first of all, I hope you're all getting it. If you're not getting it, it is encouraged that you put the PLC. Uh, <laughs> I love the thumbs up. Um, it, it is encouraged that you put the PLC um, email address uh, that uh, is responsible for sending that, that you put that email address in your contacts. And that sometimes can clear up if it goes to weird boxes or something like that. So, but about the site, all the names of our practitioners, of our heart to heart ministry, and of our board members are now on that weekly iFocus, the names. All you have to do is click a link and you can send an, it will generate an email to send or within the subject line is the phone number for the person. So it gives you two ways to contact pretty simply, okay? Um, just wanna encourage you, these are safe links, click the link, we're all there, happy to serve. Thank you. Thank you, LJ. Uh, I also, uh, Kim, if you'd stand up, come up, come on up here, uh, and and Sandy Scott, come on up. Um, we have some new artwork that is up and beautiful and gracing the walls here. <laughs> and I'm going to say, and I'm glad Sandy came up. Um, we have some new artwork that is Sandy's and they're all, they're beautiful and she came and we, we spent a good two hours in the cold here. <laughs> we put them up and if you have something, you go ahead and say it. And we also have um, this side here. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to say last week, the walls were pretty bare and Kim and I teamed up. Thank you so much, Kim. And I, I want to mention that the Lower Yosemite Falls over there actually belongs to the Positive Living Center. It was donated here for one of the uh, auctions several years ago. So anyone wanting to take that home just needs to make a donation. A suggested donation is listed over there uh, to the Positive Living Center. Um, most of these works are early works. If you want to see more current works from me um, at the Yosemite Gateway Art Center, which is on Highway 41, just north of that fruit stand, stop by. For the next four weeks, I have about five uh, pastel paintings up there. So nice to see everyone. If you're on Zoom and uh, local, you can still stop by the galleries. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy and Kim. I know how, how much work goes into hanging and uh, making this sanctuary beautiful. Thank you. Any other announcements? Uh, I have a little announcement. Last night we had our flute circle that John Lalonde and Kim Haley are gracious to host. And then we had our drum circle and it was a beautiful evening together. A lot of renewed energy and uh, a, a very conscious awareness of why we come together. Our practitioner for the day is Kim Haley. She will be available to help. Uh, if you have anything to talk about or you have any needs, we also have a little fraud box, box in the back and you put your name and what your focus is and we will collectively pray for that um, energetic. And Joe Bull 
has been the uh, prayer treatment practitioner. And we come together as a team and uh, they will send out emails so that we can work in harmonic energy to help any issues that are there. Uh, I know that it works. Um, my great grandson was very ill and the next day he popped back from 105 temperature. So I know that this process of the power of positive thinking makes a difference in our life and the people that are around us. Because if mama's not happy, nobody's happy, right? Let's do the prayer of protection. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. The energy of God is me. Wherever I am, God is, and all is well. Could we have Sandy pray us out? I just want to really pray today in the knowing that we have been gifted with this lovely property, this lovely building that augments what we are as a spiritual family, that we have access to Zoom to allow that to work, that we have people who are coming together and working together to learn new ways of doing things, to do everything we can so that the Positive Living Center allows its light to shine everywhere. I am so grateful for all of this, for it is a blessing, a beautiful blessing, to come on the property and see the deer, to look at the faces that are on Zoom. Know with me that life is good, that love is eternal, that we are grateful for all we have and all we share. And I give such glorious thanks and stay with me, please. And so it is. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, everyone, for visiting the Positive Living Center today. When we go home, we take this energy with us, we share it out in the world. We make a difference. We are truly blessed to have each other. And so it is. Have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Bye. And thank you to all of our Zooms. Oh my gosh, we had 14 people. We love you. We miss you. I really want to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I want to turn this around. We had 14 people now, but 17 people earlier. Thank you, everybody, for coming. This is great. So Welcome to your family. We love you. Have a great day. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.